Um, in Rock Band 3, we've altered uh, the look of pretty much everything. Um, the shell got an entire revamp, uh, the characters got revamped, the venues all look different. And again, there's, there's a lot of stuff that you'll see from the old Rock Bands in the new Rock Band, but they've all been touched. The character creator was um, pretty exciting for us on this project. Um, the uh, character lead himself was pretty passionate about doing it in the beginning. Um, so we did some very early prototypes that were exciting. That sort of goes across the boards. We fleshed out uh, the types of bodies that you can make now and uh, the amount of detail that you can put into the bodies while still keeping in the general style of Rock Band. Um, we went pretty deep on the, the heads and faces. Um, there's an entire uh, creator set for the faces now that in addition to the kind of hair and makeup and facial hair that we used to do, the, you can now really adjust and alter the, the face of the character, male or female. Artistically, um, we wanted to uh, kind of take our idealized sculptural characters, the rock star aesthetic that we had established in Rock Band 1 and 2, and basically just give it one more level of detail. Um, we didn't want to get to the point where the characters had veins and, and freckles and things like that. We still wanted them to look kind of like living dolls, you know, um, kind of perfect people. So what we c kind of tried to do is do anatomy, do more anatomy than we did in the past, but um, do a sort of a simplification sculpture pass on it, imagining it, it's one of those kind of semi-abstracted sculptures where all the little wrinkles are smoothed out, but the underlying forms are there. So your nose might um, not have the little bump that a real nose has, but it, it might have a nice smooth line running down it instead. We can, you can do a lot of the same stuff you could do before. You change your hairstyle, beards, um, you could choose different body types. Um, but now you can choose your body types with sliders, and so you can add muscle mass or remove muscle mass, and you can get um, taller and shorter. You can, we also have a more robust face creator where instead of just choosing a head, you can dig in and start picking individual face pieces. You can choose your eyes, um, move the eyes farther apart, closer together, rotate them. Um, you can choose a different nose. Um, you can move that around on the face a little bit. And so for all the different parts, nose, chin, mouth, eyebrows, jawline, you, all, you have some amount of control. You should have a lot of fun with it. And you should be able to make a character that looks something like an idealized version of yourself. Everything is getting better lit. Um, we're, we want to have people connect with the characters better, um, and we want to put the characters more front and center for the player um, so they can feel that connection and, and, and feel like they really want to invest time in, in creating characters. One thing that occurred to us while we were designing the game was it's really fun to see your characters playing the music, but um, if you're the one concentrating on the music, it tends to be hard to actually see your own character that you've made. It's great in party situations and multiplayer and stuff like that. But um, Pete had an idea to move into this whole vignette system where we have outside of gameplay scenes where you see your band doing things. Now, it's cool because it links back to our character creator. You get to see all the hard work you, you put into making your character and your band in a way where you're relaxed, you're not matching any gems or music at all, you're just watching things go by, but it also went back to a really important element of, that, we, that we created in Rock Band 1, which was make people feel like they are in a rock band. And you know, when you're holding the Strat and you're playing the drums and you're hearing the music and you're watching the crowd go crazy, that went a really long way, but it's kind of awesome to see it take the next step, which is like, I see my band playing in a crappy club and they're getting paid and they're not getting paid enough and they're getting like in little back and forths with each other. Um, they're riding around in the tour van and getting into like the kind of hijinks that we've gotten in when we were on tour and it's kind of like famous, this famous stories about touring. We're not telling you a story. It's not like you're playing a game with a specific character where you're watching people that clearly aren't you unless you made them look like you, which you can totally do. Uh, but you know, there's, there's, a, there's a line there between um, reality and in-game that is kind of blurry in a way that lets you stay, stay connected.